review family keep it I keep it tight my name is Jay Morse of you got and I'm back again to bring you another video and in this one I'm going to be going over the winners of the 61st Grammy Awards now this is gonna be a raw video it's gonna be very like it's not gonna have much editing I don't want to do a bunch of jump cuts um, I did not watch the Grammys and I wanted to save it for a video to just kind of go over the winners I do remember a lot of the people that were nominated and obviously I had my own picks and the people that I wanted to win but for this I'm just going to be going over from the power of the internet I'm just going to be going over the winners the losers of categories and there's going to be certain categories I know more about than others so let's honestly get right into it and just see what we got here so record of the year this is America Childish Gambino hell yes hell yes Childish Gambino won it yes that 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 is by far I mean I like it is an interesting song um, rock star is a really good song, but this is America. The cultural impact that that track had on America and the waves it made in terms of getting Gambino to some chart topping stuff, really getting him out there even more. The music video is fantastic, the performance is fantastic. Man, everything about this track. I love This Is America so much. Alright, we're moving on to Album of the Year. Mmm, what? Casey Musgraves won it over Cardi B, Post Malone, and wow. Huh. Huh, okay. Alright, so Casey Musgraves won it. I did check that album out, didn't review it because, to be honest, I know it really, like, it got a lot of acclaim, and I know that, like, the industry had a major heart on for what it was doing, but I did not like that album that much, and if I would have reviewed it, I don't think I would have given it a high score, and I certainly wouldn't have given it an album of the year score, so, let's see, uh, song of the year. This is America, again, yes, Donald Glover, yes, I'm very, very happy about that. Um, over all of the other ones, yeah, that's by far the best song there. I mean, God's Plan would be the second choice, but yeah. Best New Artist, Dua Lipa, yes, okay, okay, um... Looking over this, I do not like Baby Rexa. I don't like Margot Price. Her is okay. I hate Greta Van Fleet, like, completely. Like, if, if Greta Van Fleet would have won, that would have been really annoying to me. Love Dua Lipa. I think she's a very talented artist, and um, I like a lot of her music. She, she is a really good pop singer right now. I do enjoy her music quite a lot. Um, best pop solo performance. Joanne, where do you think you're going, Lady Gaga? Um... I mean, I'm not a big fan of, like, all of the tracks off of Star is Born. Like, I've heard a lot of them. I listened to the album. But um, <clears throat> I'm not sure if that's what I would have given it to over God is a Woman and Better Now. Those were really better tracks, in my opinion. Uh, I, I think Lady Gaga was better than Beck and Camille Cabello. But um, I probably would have given it to Post Malone, probably, if, if I had to give it to someone in that category. But... Hey, that's fine. Um, best pop duo group performance, Shallow, Lady Gaga and Bradley Cooper. Yeah, Star is Born was huge last year, and I have not seen it. Admittedly, I listened to the soundtrack, but I have not seen it. And to be honest, um, there is no song in this entire category that I would have rather had win. I, I don't care about this category because every track on this list is just boring to me and tracks that I don't care about. Uh, best traditional pop vocal album, My Way, Willie Nelson. I can, I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of a lot of the other people in this category. Uh, you got Gregory Porter, Barbara Strassen, Seal, Tony Bennett, and Diana Krall. Um, yeah, Willie Nelson uh, should take it. I mean, he's he really is a veteran, great singer, great voice, uh, great lyricist, and I have no problem with that. Uh, best pop vocal album, Ariana Grande with Sweetener. Yes, I am very happy about that. Uh, really didn't like Shawn Mendes's album. Uh, didn't listen to Kelly Clarkson's album. Camille Cabello, I'm not the biggest fan of. She's unique, but I'm not a big fan of. Reputation was a stain on Taylor Swift's career, and Pink is a, an artist that I still don't get to this day. Uh, so yes, I'm I'm perfectly perfectly fine with that. Um, okay, 
Best Dance Recording, Electricity, Silk City, and Dua Lipa featuring Diplo. I, okay, I love that track. <laughs> I love that track. Uh, admittedly, I have not heard a lot of the others on this list. I've heard a couple, but Electricity, mm, I probably would have picked it still. Uh, best Dance Slash Electronic Album, Woman Worldwide Justice. Oh, God, I, I wanted it to go to Sophie. I really wanted it to go to Sophie. Sophie's album was so much better than that. God, Justice's album was like, okay, but Sophie's album was like inventive and experimental, and you know that's why they didn't pick it. You know that's why they didn't pick Sophie's album, because it's too experimental. Damn it, I, I wanted Sophie to win that category really bad. Uh, that's okay. Um, alright, I'm skipping some categories that I don't really have that much of an opinion of. Best Rock Performance. Okay, When Bad Does Good, Chris Cornell Posthumous. I mean, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I, I, that's okay with me, because the Arctic Monkeys, mm, it was eh. Fever 333, I do enjoy Made in America. Uh, Greta Van Fleet, I don't like Greta Van Fleet. Hellstorm's okay, they're really generic hard rock. So, for Chris Cornell to get it, it makes sense, because they want to honor him posthumously, and that's a pretty good track, so I'm okay with that. Uh, ooh, best metal performance. Electric Messiah, High on Fire? Um... I heard that High on Fire album, and is Electric Messiah better than Condemned to the Gallows by Between the Bear to Me and Honeycomb by Deaf Heaven? I did not like Deaf Heaven's album at all. I did not like Ordinary Corrupt Human Love, but <clears throat> um, Honeycomb was a nice track, and Condemned to the Gallows by Between the Bear to Me, that's an awesome track. That's a great opener to Automata. Um... I don't really care that much about Trivium or Under Oath tracks that were on this list, but I probably, I probably would have given it to Between the Buried and Me, or Honeycombs, uh, or Honeycomb. But um, Between the Buried and Me probably deserved it more. But uh, I'm okay with Electric Messiah. It was a good kind of honor record, and it was a very nice kind of sludgy metal record. Uh, let's see. Um, don't okay best rock song mass seduction by Jake whoa st. Vincent won it really I'm fine with that that's cool that's cool that st. Vincent won a Grammy uh, black smoke rising I would not have wanted him I would have not wanted Greta Van Fleet to win it jumpsuit 21 pilots I was lukewarm on 21 pilots album last year I would have, okay, I don't like the track that much from the new album, but the fact that Bring Me the Horizon got nominated for a damn Grammy for Mantra, I would have liked for them to win the Grammy. I think it would have been pretty cool, but um, I don't think that that song necessarily deserves it in terms of their stuff, but it would have been cool. Uh, Rats by Ghost, I know everyone loves that track. I know everyone was really digging into Prequel. I still don't like Prequel. I'm just going to be honest. Uh, Rats is an okay song, but I'm just not that big of a fan of it. Uh, let's see. Best Rock Album, From the Fire, is Greta Van Fleet. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. I'm okay with this, because the field is very boring. Weezer, Pacific Daydream was lukewarm. Fall Out Boy's album was not even a rock album. Uh, Alice in Chains' album, Rainier Fog, uh, while it wasn't my favorite Alice in Chains album, I think I gave it like a 6 out of 10 when I reviewed it last year. I think it probably, I enjoyed it more than Greta Van Fleet's, uh, and Ghost album prequel. I think that even though I don't personally like that album, that album's better than anything on this list, pretty much, so I probably would have given it to Ghost. It would have been cool to see that. Um, alternative, best alternative music album. Beck won it. Wow. Didn't know that Beck was still popular. That's cool. Um, yeah, I mean, Bjork or David Byrne could have taken it and I would have been okay. Even St. Vincent could have taken it and I probably would have been okay. But I did not like Arctic, Money, Ar Arctic Monkeys album. I wasn't that big of a part of it. Uh, best R&B performance. Her. Her won it featuring Daniel Caesar. Okay. Yes. Yes, That that is the best one on that list. Yes, I did not like the Carter's album. Wasn't a big fan of that Tony Braxton. Day. Yeah, I can agree with that. Best part, <coughs> her, very nice. I do like them. Um, let's see. Um, let's go and see if there's any other things. Okay, best rap performance. King's Dead, Kendrick Lamar, J-Rock, Future, and James Blake. 
Is that my favorite? That's my favorite song on the album. I, I mean, that's my favorite song on this list. I am surprised. I am shocked that this beat out Sicko Mode and this beat out uh, Nice For What. Even though King's Dead is a fantastic track and it's my favorite one on this list, I am still surprised that it beat them out. Uh, best Rap Sung Performance. This is America. Childish Cambino. Yes! Um, Rockstar's a good track, but come on. If This Is America is nominated, give it to This Is America. That's just how it is. Uh, best Rap Song, um, God's Plan. Uh, since King's Dead won in the Best Rap Performance, I'm okay with that. Once again, surprised that Sicko Mode's not winning anything. That is, that is surprising to me. Best Rap Album, Invasion of Privacy, Cardi B. You knew they were going to do that. I mean, I would have given it to Pusha T. I probably even would have given it to Travis Scott based on their albums. And I wouldn't have even been surprised if they gave it to Mac Miller posthumously. Uh, Nipsey Hussle's album, I don't know how it got there. There were better rap albums last year, no offense. But Cardi B, uh, I understand. I'm not that surprised by it. And eh. Eh. Um, okay, as I go through this, I just see Casey Musgraves winning almost everything in the Casey Musgraves, in the, um, country category, in the Casey Musgraves category. Um, and is that really the only, uh, stuff that I really wanted to talk about? Alright, I'm pretty sure. So, anyways, guys, what were your thoughts of the Grammys this year? Um, I'm okay with them. They, they, they turned out pretty good. And, um... I will talk to you guys next time. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. I'll talk to you next time. My name is Jay Morse, or V Guy, and I'm signing off saying farewell.